Hi guys, welcome. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. On this episode, we are talking about education and connection, which takes us to our first question. Which profession do you think pays us the most? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, I'd say entrepreneurship. I know most people say medicine, engineering, stuff like that, but when you're your own entrepreneur, you can do so much, like there's a variety, you can earn a lot in that. If there was a profession called stealing, I think that is the best paying now. And stealing in terms of, uh, okay, stealing, lying, and so on. The reason why every young person you see today wants to go to politics is because politicians are making crazy money and, and not, not because they are doing their job, but because they are in those offices. Engineering. I think engineering pays the most because it is a marketable cause. It is not crowded and people normally get contract jobs. To me, uh, business. Okay, business, uh, it's, uh, it exposes people, all the students, to a world of uh, economy, they interact with the economy and uh, they can they can learn how to manage their, if they get anything from, maybe they have money, okay, they can have an idea of doing their own business, they can have knowledge of management, they can manage their own funds, okay, yeah. It has to be financial engineering, but politics is a close second. <laughs> it's where the money is at, man. It's where the money is at. Um, I don't think there is a lot of diversity in that field. Uh, but the few people who manage hedge funds, you know, and uh, the investors, you know, the guys who have direct calls with our central bank governor, those are the guys who are actually making bank next to the politicians. Guys. Profession I pay the most. According to me, me I think once ni maneno alak number one na connections that is, you tapata kuna malimu ana pesa mingi, utapata kutena kuna malimu ana pesa. So it's about connections. Lafu, yeah, na planning yako we mwenye. Oneza kwa mwalimu, unafanya na kitu ingine. Oneza kwa engineer, unafanya na kitu ingine. Na upsapas, the, kuna zile, like, tukiwa wadogo, tukiwa nambiwa oh, usipo kuwa daktari ujamekit, usipo kuwa engineer ujamekit. But you see people who are not engineers and doctors, yet they are rich. Yes. So me, I don't support a certain occupation. Ati hindi ya kuna pesa, no. Kare. Kare at least to Kangalia payments are Ikoju, Kidogo, Kulingana, compare Naiz and Guinea. It depends. Uh, I don't think uh, like this uh, nowadays computer careers are good. Uh, since this is the most trending in the market and, uh, and uh, we are seeing the future. All Everything is lying on computer and everything. So it's good to have a computer literate. Uh, for you, everything in a in a ingia to computer. Ata ukifanya finance, bado ita ingia to kifanya nini. So I think uh, it should be computer literate. Mm, doctors, because like how ana patanga like ana patanga most of the clients daily compared to other professionals' career. Yes. Doctors, doctors, doctors wana liya anta kaza like. No, neza na medicine ya doctors. It is just politics. But in real sense, it should be doctors, the health sector, the education sector, our engineers constructing very tall buildings. Yeah. The government should also invest in our local engineers, not only uh, importing the engineering uh, techniques from outside the country. So politics pays a lot, and it shouldn't be like that. Because they only work three days in a, in a week. They work on Tuesday, they work on Wednesday, and in, that uh, the National Assembly. So I think they should also be looked. They should look check into the interests of doctors and ensure that doctors, the nurses, the clinical officers and all health cadres are well catered for. Our teachers who teach children, who teach pupils, the early childhood education, the primary school teachers and the secondary. Our PLASMA, they need to check into the affairs so that they focus on teaching uh, the pupils, the Kenyan children to get quality education. Yeah, and good manners also, not only quality education but also good manners. Because currently you find manners are not there in our society. Okay, to me, medicine, law, 
and the engineering are among the top that I can rate that earns the most. Because I feel like medicine is easy to get a job. Someone cannot tarmac a lot compared to other fields. That means someone will get a job early and will start, will start an early also. So to me, that's better than doing something else that maybe will take you a lot of time for you to get a job and start earning. In my opinion, I feel like there's so many career opportunities and professions that are highly paying. But something that is definitely uh, rewarding like long term is when you have your own business, uh, you're your own boss, basically self-employment. Because this way, you have security, you don't have to worry about losing your job. And that way you can create generational wealth. In that, you can create job opportunities for your family members, your kids, and it goes on and on and on and it is passed to the next generation. Which takes us to our second question. Do you think education is important? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Definitely. Uh, because if you're not educated, I mean, you can make really bad economic decisions. So, yeah, definitely, economic is really important. Yeah. Uh, education is important to an economy. Yes, it's important because in a pair, I'm saying knowledge. In a pair, I'm saying knowledge, some skills, uh, plus communication, uh, socializing, uh, what? It's, it's a fundamental, it's, it's a core part of our society, not just ours, any society to begin with. Um, I think uh, the fact that we educate people, um, contributes to a new awareness, a new awakening, and um, I think our entire existence as human beings is all about moving forward, making the next step, even if it's just a small step. You know, we don't get to live for that long, but in the 170 to 100 years on average that we get to live, um, we have a mission, you know, it's, it's inherited. We have a mission to just make, make humanity just go one step further. Then the rest will pick up, the coming generations pick it up from there. So I think um, educating societies, you know, making them civilized, um, it's, it's a really key part of that. Uh, definitely, of course. So easy, my mother, my GBT, Nanini, it needs you to study most. And uh, these are the things that help the, uh, the country. The ideas we generate, at least to stabilize the economy of our country, it needs someone who is knowledgeable and uh, a person who knows and profession into that field. Thank you. Education is important to any country and anybody who underrates education does it uh, to their own peril. Let me give you an example of uh, a country like uh, is South Korea, which politicians love comparing us to. The difference between South Korea and Kenya is one thing honesty and merit. In South Korea, they put people in office because they are qualified, because they are honest, and because they are willing to do that job for which they are employed to do. And because they take action against vices such as corruption. Here when you still you get more votes, you get a bigger appointment. So what happens? The children who are growing up today, let me call them the TikTok generation. Today you listen to kids, uh, no, not kids, huh? of course they are grown-ups with ideas and so on. You listen to kids on TikTok, you get shocked because these people think education is useless. They don't want to go to school anymore. Those days when we were going to school, we used to be told, okay, there, there was this lie that we are leaders of tomorrow. When I, when I turned uh, 40, I realized tomorrow will never come unless I stand up myself and fight for that position. I want to give you an example of uh, some people I know even in government, in the appointments, even in this city. And I want to relate it to the issue of connections. In this country, when you don't know someone, it doesn't matter what kind of a skill you have. It doesn't matter how good you are in whatever you do. So long as you don't know someone somewhere, you will never get an opportunity. There are people we worked with in the last campaigns, and just because they know so and so, they are there eating. Sisi bado tunatembea kwa barabara, 
But we are not complaining. All we want to do, all we want to see maybe in the relating to the next election, which comes in about three years, is can we start thinking about value-based leadership? Can we start thinking about Maadili? We, we need to look at these people. Where are they coming from? What is their history? How many lies have they told before we vote for them? But education is very important. Watoto waende shule wasome. The future is bright. And we are going to stand up to make it better. Okay, education is good for country's economy. Uh, because... Uh, let me say it was it was there before. Now it's good. But if I can say, most of the people are successful, but without education, most. And that's what has, what's happening today. Now, ah, education is muhimu sana uh, kwa jami because kama si education inji hasa inji yacha Kenya inge kwa mali peniko. Tangalia vitu kama innovation discovers minga bazo mefanyika i Kenya through education. So it may enlighten watu, watu ametoa, imetoa watu katika ujinga, imetoa watu katika maisha ile ambayo ilikuwa ya, ya kitambo. Na pia kuna mila na damaduni ambayo zilikuwa zinakandamiza uh, jamii mingi sana. Education imeweza kutoa watu huko. Na pia by and large utapata eh, job 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 industry and employment mean what one consider education quite education muhimu sana impacts of education educations provide good morals educations provide uh, professions with good skills which uh, uh, facilitates or rather can also produce a lot also inachangia mingi sana to the economic progress so education is something which will not be compromised it should, it should be something which should be looked on by the government and uh, investment and ensure that go students, go schools, which consume also a lot of government uh, resources, must also be well audited so that uh, the government takes this money to the right school and know the number of uh, pupils and students so that the funding eh, goes direct to what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So education is something very vital and should not be compromised. Okay, education is good for a country, that's obvious. It will reduce the illiterate rate. And uh, as we know, a country that has high, literate, high illiteracy cannot, cannot go far or uh, cannot be secure. In terms of security, a country that is made up of more illiterate people, we will have a lot of crime cases such as theft and other ones related but through education we can avoid such a cases yeah education is very much important to our country speaking from my side kuna vitu zenye bila education you can't explain number 1 bila education you can't explain some things so we need education number 1 Number two, kitu ingine in education in a idea ni the fact that you know as a country kuna vile network theatre in kuanga based on the things that we are doing, the projects that we are having, sunanielewa. And being that there was no education and there was no way of people gaining knowledge, kuna vitu wazinge kwa zina happen. I don't think that education is very important because first of all, it helps you acquire knowledge and skills that help you um, get a job. So basically employment. Another thing is uh, problem solving. Let's take for instance, the case that we had, you know, floods happening all over. It's only people with specific information, specific skills that would help us understand the drainage system and help us know how to avoid such calamities in the future and lastly it helps us eradicate poverty in this way you get to learn about financial literacy you know how to use your money how to save your money and how to invest let's take a short break we'll be back with two more questions